Dan, firstly, on behalf of all Wraith Rover supporters, thanks for your contribution, thanks for your goals, and thanks for securing us a victory here at East End Park. How was it for you? Yeah, look, obviously, apart from the goals, it's just great to get the win. Um, obviously, my first game was here and we won. So, on the back of the last two games, even though we didn't lose, we knew our performance could be better. So, there's no way or no better way to come into a game than a derby. So, um, I thought overall we were much better today, looked more solid. Um, OK, we don't have as much attacking players in the pitch, but we're always going to get chances with the quality of players we have. So, um, look, it's, it's a great win. There's no hiding that. This was either going to be the best place to come or the worst place to come after a Saturday in the 2-2 draw. Ultimately, it seems to be a, a venue that's got the best out ease. Was there an extra bit of fuel in the tank? Like I said, I think we knew we could have been better over the last two games. Um, taught on Saturday we were good. Obviously, the two goals, Penno and that wonder goal, um, it kind of makes us look sloppy. But um, I thought personally that they might have smelled blood, but we always believe, even me being here so, such a short time, we believe in ourselves, believe in the quality we have. And I thought even the way we played football today was much better and much more secure. And like I said, we looked much solid, more solid when we went up. Even when they scored, I don't. we came in at half-time and it wasn't like we weren't going mad. We knew that we'd get chances. We knew that we have the quality on the pitch. And even on the bench, you look at the bench today, the players coming on. So um, I thought we handled it well, especially coming away to here of all places. Two goals, similar in terms of where you found yourself, but different characteristics. The first one, a bit opportunistic, keeper parries it down, defender doesn't kind of cover it, and you, you thrash it into the net. And the second one, probably fair to say it's about your desire and your aggression. What, what were the goals like for your perspective? First one, strikers finish, second yeah. balls. Uh, yeah. Now, Josh, look, Josh's delivery is, is top class. Like, you know, I said to him at half time, the second one, I says, especially the outswingers coming away from the keeper, I says, look, if you can put it into that front area, I fancy myself. So, um, I'd always fancy myself from headers, you know, just being aggressive, wanting to win it, and I got the right side of him, and thankfully it went in. <laughs> Indeed. What about um, this extra dynamic you've had today of Kevin carrying a knock? You know that his distribution is going to be hampered significantly. That just adds another dimension that you're going to have to come back and take the kicks. You're going to be aware that, barring an emergency, he ain't launching it um, even with a back pass. How does that adapt your game, and, and how do you feel you've managed it? I thought we managed it well. Um, we tried to limit their opportunities. Okay, there was a few they flashed across the box. Thought they can always be a bit dodgy, but I thought as a back four and the two in front, I thought we were really solid. Um, like I said, we limited them opportunities. They didn't really break us down or, or come 1v1. Um, obviously, Kev's carrying a knock, so we're wary of that and trying to protect him as much as we can. Um, look, the first goal is it's a good goal from their perspective, to be fair. It happened very quickly. But other than that, I didn't think they'd created a lot. Like I said, a few flashed across. So I thought as a unit, from back to front, really, a front to back, whatever you want to say, I thought we, we managed the game really well, managed Kev really well. And, uh, yeah, look, obviously we came away with three points. I mean, it's to your credit that um, chat boards and um, you know various forums are kind of buzzing with the notion of let's hope we can hold on to yourself. Um, is there talking to be done in terms of what's over the next couple of days between yourself and Race Rovers? Yeah, we'll sit down. We'll sit down and talk. Um, I'll talk to the staff, and um, there's no hiding it. I'm I'm loving it here. Uh, everything, not just the, play the players have been great, the staff have been great, but even the club as a whole, you can see it's on an upward trend. The engagement with the fans, it's really really good, and you see the turnout today. Like it's that's what it's all about, you know. So as a player, can't really ask for much more in terms of enjoying it, um, and obviously winning the game. You hear how much it means to them. So to be part of that has been really, really good and I'm loving it, loving loving my time here, loving the training, loving the obviously playing. Um, look, it's a competitive competitive environment in terms of places, I know that. So um, yeah, look, hopefully we can we can sit down and, and uh, come to a conclusion over the next few days. Tell me about the celebrations at the end um, after that enormous shift that you've put in as, as a unit, as a squad, and then you get to go and have the best part of 2,000 people there, knowing for a fact that um, you've sent them all home absolutely delighted with the fact that their teams represent what our aspirations are yeah definitely and I think the last two games was probably a bit of pressure on us not that we would felt it but probably externally and to come here in the derby you know how much it means to the fans um, like we spoke about before what Dunfermline would probably how they think of, of rate so to kind of get those bragging rights again is uh, 
is obviously very sweet and you, you hear them at the end singing and you know how much it means to them and obviously to score the the goal down that end as well is, is special like I've got a funny feeling that your inbox and your messages are going to be going through the roof because you've written your name large over today's derby so we say congratulations and I'll make sure that I get the club photographer in contact with you because there's uh, a few for the memory scrapbook there yeah look I'll, I'll take it um, obviously to score one goal is great um, but to score two and then to win as well because you know when you score and then they score the equaliser you're like oh, am I going to score and we're going to win or am I going to draw you know so to score the winner and hold on is look it's, it's amazing really thanks for chatting with us we enjoyed it the first time we've enjoyed watching you and let's hope that continues hopefully thank you thank you